Are you keeping track of our food rules? Michael Pollan's approach to making wise nutritional choices truly does decrease the amount of confusion around what we should eat. It all starts with food, real food. And maybe you're a bit sick of hearing me talk about this. It's just that I know that food can be a bit tricky these days. I mean, just ask the children. Let's take our next four food rules to this future generation and see what they have to say about them. Avoid food products that make health claims. So which one of these is the better choice? The sweet potatoes, the real sweet potatoes. Why? Because to make the cereal, they have to process it and it's not as healthy as the real thing. So what claim is it making on that box? that it's organic and it's 100% whole grain and there are sweet potato flakes in it. In it? In it. In order for food products to make a health claim on their box, that food product actually has to come in a box. And right there, you know that it's highly processed. This potato, however, it does not need to advertise any health claims on its packaging in order for us to know that it's healthy. The farmer doesn't have a huge budget to add graphics and marketing to their produce, whereas larger companies definitely do. Be wary of loud packaging. Just keep it simple. Avoid food products that contain descriptors such as light, low fat, non-fat, or reduced fat. All right, reduced fat, what does that mean? Reduced fat? What does reduced fat mean? Anybody know? Like, like they took some of the fat out of it and then just added other ingredients. What other ingredients did they add? Like sugar? Let's find out. It's um, too many words. Mm. So I remember when snack wells were introduced in the early 90s. They were a reduced fat and sometimes fat-free cookie. And I was so excited about that product that I would sit down and I would eat an entire box because after all, they were reduced fat. But I have an alarming fact for you. Since the low fat campaign of the 1970s, Americans have actually been consuming 500 additional calories a day in the form of refined carbohydrates like sugar. So light, reduced fat, fat free, all of those products contain oh. extra salt and sugar. Right here. Avoid foods that are pretending to be something they are not. What is that? What's margarine? Well, it looks like butter, but I have a feeling that it's fake butter because it doesn't say butter anywhere on the package. What does it say? Okay. Good for baking. Zero gram trans fat. Okay. <laughs> what does it say on the bottom? It's 53% what? Here, here. Vegetable oil spread. That's gross. Ew. Nasty. Vegetables it's aren't nasty. supposed to be <laughs> <in> butter. <laughs> it was a nasty. They just ruined toast for me. So to make something like this takes an awful lot of processing. Another example of this would be artificial Sweeteners. Okay, guys, don't fall for something in a clever costume. Avoid foods you see advertised on television. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Here you go. It's got R2 on it. I want the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese looks better. Guys, it doesn't even look appealing. Yes, it does. No, it does not. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> no, you can't have that. Why does it look appealing to you, Zane? It's all cheesy, right? Would that, if you saw that in the store with R2-D2, would it catch your eye? Well, if it was any mac and cheese, I would buy it. It's gross. It's Only the biggest food manufacturers can afford to advertise on television. And more than two-thirds of that advertising promotes processed food. So avoid companies with the big checkbooks. And you'll find that you'll be eating more real food. Can I have this when we're done? 
health claims, clever words, imposters, and big budgets. Next week, we'll share where you need to shop in order to avoid those noisy packages that are screaming for your attention. Don't fall for marketing. For the health of it!